मैडम कुरकुरे we are here to discuss today the role of ngos and i for one i am convinced that government alone cannot do everything cannot cannot you will see my statistics in fact out of all the slides i have only one slide today to say all this others i'll say about the pujis which is the situation of cancer in this country but in the entire set of slides i have only one slide to show how we are placed today in this country and how can the you know ngos play a role without that we cannot do anything we are today we have only one fourth of the facilities which is needed in this country and the way we are going it will not happen in another 1000 years and i'll show you the statistics well uh, this is the last report of the cancer registry program which is maintained in bangalore itself it is the indian council of medical research even though we have a globocan report today and now in 2018 but that's bit incomplete actually this is the only complete uh, valid report and if you see this in 2016 we had 14.5 lakh new cancer cases and 2020 <coughs> we'll have 17.3 lakh new cancer cases and common cancer breast lung cervix and half of them die and the major problem again in this country need to be addressed is maximum number of cancers occur in northeast in fact india is a epidemiological paradise if you see this slide the lowest incidence of cancer is in a place called barsi in maharashtra 40 compared to 270 found nowhere in the world nowhere in the world <coughs> in the same country seven times difference in the same country So that says the cancer of cause of cancer is in India. Same thing about females. There is a place called Papampure. I don't know how many of you know Papampure. This is a place in Arunachal. There the cervical cancer is highest, and again, you know, almost seven times difference. And uh, the worst part is, cancer incidence of every cancer is rising, except one, that is cervical cancer. there are variety of reasons we'll discuss if the time permits otherwise cervical cancer incidence is coming down that's a good thing otherwise all cancer incidence is going up gradually so as dr jk singh just mentioned government is playing a major role government has to play a major role it has to do health and education the priorities we have a program called national program for control and cure of cancer diabetes cbd and stroke which was nccp earlier the registry program also has been changed to ncdir including all those four diseases seeing this you know success of the cancer registry program and we have uh, pattern of care and survival studies on cervix breast and head and, head and neck and if somebody asks what is our national data <coughs> nandakumar from bangalore cancer registry has published on all these three aspects it has all been published whatever data we have it has been published cervix breast head and neck what is our national data who ever has contributed to the data pocs pattern of care and cervical studies so for the first time we have some national data available throughout the country well this is the money which is available from the government but takers are only less than 50% we have 120 crores available for 20 state cancer institute 120 crores huge amount of money 120 crores of course it was initially 90 10 Ninety percent by central government and ten percent by the state government, but because people did utilize it properly, there was no proper utilization. Now it has become sixty forty. So out of this twenty, only seven has been utilized. Only seven. Thirteen are still lying. No, there are thirteen state cancer institutes which are still to be taken. At in it, it involves everything, mostly the infrastructure development, infrastructure for chemotherapy, radiotherapy, surgery, preventive oncology, research, everything, everything. of course not the you know consumables or not the staff but for infrastructure development like the building 50 tertiary cancer centers have been sanctioned for 45 crores is 45 crores is a huge amount again 60 40 ratio but for northeast it is 90 10 90% by center 10% by state again out of this you know you know 50 tertiary cancer only 20 has been utilized The question is, 
if you see, after all, this is a government of India money, taxpayers' money, it's out of everybody's pocket. So whoever takes this money has to give an account of it. And it comes in three installments. If you spend the first installment properly, the low liquid second and third. So which uh, has to be done, probably that's not being done. So we have very few takers for this. So government has a huge amount of money. If you see the activities of the, you know, some of the important things we Dr. J.K. Singh mentioned, 60% of our cancers are preventable, mostly tobacco related and infection related. And they have to be tackled at various levels. And there are activities which are going on in out of 718 districts. Today, with the help of NHM and Ayushman Bharat, 218 districts have so far been covered. It's going on slowly, as Dr. Singh told, ASA is the main, you know, stay of the things. ASA has to be trained, but ASA has 20 other things to do. They have to look after tuberculosis control, you know, you know, leprosy control, family welfare, many things. So there are ways to do it, so people are doing it, but it's gradually being done. This is the, you know, a paper, white paper on the government on the voluntary organizations. Well, this is the most important slide I wanted to present. The others are, I mean, most of the things you know. And this is my view. I want definitely questions on this. Uh, I'm sure Dr. Govind Babu and, you know, Dr. Ajay Kumar is here. Uh, Dr. You know, Gopinath is here. We, can, we have surgical data also. We have medical, you know, oncology data also to say that what we, how, how much we are lacking in every fear. Since I am basically radiation oncology, I'll tell you some medical uh, radiation oncology data. This is a hard fact as for today. If you say developing country standards, we require at least one per million population. Why one per million? Because roughly in a million, you require 800, you have 800 new cancer cases. So that says you require one teletherapy facility, one radiotherapy facility, one teletherapy machine per million. But if you go to Europe, or US, it is four per million, four per million. Canada and Australia, 10 per million. But forget about that, that will never happen in another 2000 years probably, the way we are going. And what we have today, we have 1350 million people, so we require 1350. Today we have only 700 teletherapy machines in this country, today. Per year, so we are lacking by 650. Per year, we are, I'm talking of teletherapy total. Teletherapy means cobalt and, you know, linac to, total. We produce only cobalt. No linac is being produced, even though Panacea is trying to produce in Bangalore. Maybe he will come out with the first machine by the end of this year, which is this month. So we are adding only 60 per year. Every year, five are getting decommissioned. That means we are adding only 55. And if you say one per million, we are adding one Australia every year. 20 million populations are graduating every year. So 55 minus 20 is 35. We are adding only 35 machines every year, and our gap is 650. How do we do? We have only few NGOs, one of the top ones, Dr. Ajay Kumar is sitting here. He has the largest number of uh, machines in this country. We have few others also. And of late, it's a good sign that Tata Trust has joined the, you know, movement. They have signed MOUs, you know, they have a huge uh, backup of money. They have signed MOUs at least with seven state governments. And have already started some equip, started some departments also. Like the railway hospital in Banaras has already started. And uh, in Bhajak is about to start, Mullapur is about to start. So they have a huge financial background and for some I mean, for once, at least a huge corporate organization in this country has taken the lead. I'm sure they have aim is in next three years to introduce 200 teletherapy machines, 200. They have a staff strength of about 300, taking top-notch radiation oncology. Dr. Paul Sebastian has joined that organization now. And we have people from uh, Department of Atomic Energy. So that's a very good thing which is happening. But this figure is government and private put together. And government alone cannot do it. So we require NGOs. I'm just talking about the treatment part. Dr. J.K. Singh has extensively discussed about the prevention and you know, palliation component. But if we don't do this, we are not, if some NGO <coughs> may
maybe we require maybe 30 lakh Dr. Ajay Kumar Sanjeev, which can probably, you know, correct this gap. This is a huge gap. This has to be corrected. And that's what I wanted to stress in this meeting, that each one of us can also put our, you know, head and brain and our soul into it. I am trying to establish a cancer center, which is already done. We'll have about 15 teletherapy machines. The, it is coming in a, it's called National Cancer Institute, coming up very close to Delhi, in an area of 300 acres. We have already started, you know, the Hughes lab, it's a fast core lab we have started, which is, uh, can handle 60,000 samples per day. And uh, we are getting uh, two Linux initially, then two and two proton, we are getting another two months. So, but that will be mostly for teaching and research. There has to be some organization for teaching and research in this country, a national institute where anybody could work in. It's in a place, Haryana, called Jajjar. So that, but that's not going to solve the requirement of this country. That's mostly a teaching institution. So this is the most important slide I wanted to present and excite or incite all, each one of us that we should be able to do it either through the government, the money which is available, or through the NGOs. Well, the other things which everybody knows, which has been being done by others, is NGOs are holding cancer detection camps, advocacy for tobacco control, that's very important. Support for cancer patients in the hospital, there are so many, you know, NGOs who are doing it, and uh, logistic support for accommodation, you know, free medicine, etc. But that's not going to solve the major problem. Major problem is that if you want to have a Jew, for example, you can't have a Jew without elephant. You can't say, I'll manage with deers and, you know, monkeys, you know, a Jew. The main focus of the cancer control activity is a cancer center where there are three basically expensive departments. Radio diagnosis, radiotherapy, and nuclear medicine. Nothing costs less than 20 crores each. But we have money in this country. We are getting, I have got 5,000 crores for this project, entirely a central government project. But the question is, you know, uh, somebody has to, you know, force it. Somebody has to be champion and, you know, drive it. And it can be done by NGOs only. Home care facilities, ostomy facilities, pediatric support groups, elderly requirements, vaccines. You know, a lot of NGOs are, you know, probably that's the reason why the cancer service incidence has come down even though vaccines are not in our national program. But we are associated with NGO called Rotary. Our institution is Rotary organization. We, they have camps and give vaccination to, you know, the, you know, the school children in class five and six. The recommendation is good nine. Right, I am done. I had, we had a publication some time back mentioning the role of NGO. Thank you very much, any questions? Yes, sir. Thank you, Dr. Rath. And I'm sure you have uh, ignited everybody's mind to ask you questions. I'm sure um, everybody has to do it, you know, <laughs> because cancer is the second biggest killer today in the country. Yes, madam. Madam, because of help like organization like you, the cervical cancer incidence has come down. It has not come because of the grace of Lord Krishna. You know, so we are all working. That's why it is coming down. Cervical cancer incidence is coming down. And it's we, we advocate the vaccine. Absolutely, absolutely. Because the, we feel that, you know, whenever there is a program, we say government has to do it. Are who? Everybody can afford 8,000 rupees. What, why 8,000 rupees government has to pay? You tell me. Those 20% people who are filthily poor, I'm sure we can organize, you know, some NGOs for that. Everybody can afford, everybody can afford for their young daughters, 8,000 rupees for two vaccinations. So which we are doing. And uh, I think we should keep on doing that. The only thing is probably that treatment facilities are lacking in this country. So I, I told you, the lack of treatment facility, the same sort of scenario exists in medical oncology and surgical oncology also. That needs to be filled up. But who will make that improve? You and me? 
Lord Krishna is not to come to this earth. We have to make it. But who will do that? Who will do that? What is government? Where is government? Whom do you talk? No, I am only assisting part of it. Who is government? We are all part of government. So that is why I am saying we have to. Sure. Yes, sir. A very good morning to all of you and uh, sir, good morning. I am also from Odisha. And uh, it's a dream co come true today to have uh, listen uh, uh, to you. Sir, but my question would be, every time I am uh, seeing in every conferences, we are saying that putting this much effort and this much money on treatment facilities, but what's, what about this, sir? Because early detection is not there and our main focus should be in early detection, I think. And the more and more we will be putting money, as per me and my small experience, is not going to that much help without awareness and early detection. So what's your take on this, sir? Absolutely. You told a very nice thing. Early detection should be done. Who will do it? Who will do it? Sir, we will do it with you coordination and me, with the... You and yes, me. yes. Money is available with the NGOs. Yeah. Money is available with the government. It is you and me. You go to the government. Whenever I have gone to the government, the government has never told no. I wanted 300 sir, crores per program. Here I, I, have, I have a point. Yes. If people like you and um, everybody, um, the experienced guys over here, if we are not putting a slide and when we are talking, not telling about this early detection and how government will be convinced because we are nowhere in the society now, they will not listen to us. So let me use this forum to appeal all of you we should put some of our effort or divert some of our effort to early detection and awareness so that government will listen and our prognosis rate will be increasing in coming future because putting a lot of effort and money, we are putting a lot of effort and money in treatment only. So that is my concern. Excellent sir. suggestion. You think this 120 crore per state cancer institute has been done on its own? We all have put pressure on the government. They have done it. But it is for us to prove our bona fide, get this money, spend it for prevention, early diagnosis and management. We, we have to get this. Money is available for, with the government, but we have to go and get it. Somebody has to do it. You know, it just cannot happen in vacuum. You and me. Yeah, we, we have both can do a lot of difference. Approached many a times to state government, but they are not ready to put money on uh, awareness and uh, this kind of activity. No, no, no. We you, you, you and me don't have to put. There is money with the government. Yeah. There is money with the private sector. See, India is a very rich country. Some of the Indians are poor. Huge amount of money is available. I can tell you, whenever I've asked for any money, I have never been told no. Or from the NGO, you ask Dr. Ajay Kumar, he has a lot of money. He has opened already 30 centers in the country. You and me can also open it. Yeah, Tata and government is putting up thousands of crores to this treatment, sir. Just exactly. I, I would like to request people like you that please, sir, uh, help us to advocacy that early detection and awareness should be there also and should be a part of this uh, whole Absol process. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That is a, my kind we, request. You and sir. me will do it, don't worry. We'll <laughs> Thank do you. It. Thanks we'll do a lot. It. We'll do Thank it. You. I think time is up. Thank you very much. Thank you.